These Gundark attacks will continue until we stop them. We must train warriors, then find and destroy the Gundark Nest. But first we need more workers. Click on your command center. Now click on the Create Worker button. While your worker is being created, set your other workers to harvest food and carbon. Try creating another worker at your command center. It appears you've run out of housing. The command center houses five units. Every additional shelter you build allows you to increase your population by another five units. You need to assemble some prefabricated shelters. Click on a worker. In the lower left corner, click on the Buildings button, then the Build Prefab Shelter button. Then click on the ground, where you want the shelter to be built. Good. The more housing you build, the larger your population can grow. With all this construction, you're probably running low on resources. It's time to build up your food stores. I'll teach you about hunting and herding. If you've explored to the north, you'll probably run across docile creatures known as nerfs. If you haven't, you should explore in that direction now. <coughs> Good. You found some nerfs. You can select and move them just like workers. Move a few nerfs towards your command center. <laughs> now you can use your nerfs for food. Click on a worker, and right-click on the nerf. You can gather food from certain wild animals, too, but you'll have to chase them down first. We need more workers. You don't have to train them one at a time, though. Click on your command center. Now click the Create Worker button four times quickly. Don't forget, you'll need to harvest carbon, too. Now you should create a troop center to provide you with warriors. Click on a worker. 
Now click the military buildings button. Then the troop center button. Good. Now let's build some fighting Wookiees. Click on your troop center and click Create Trooper Recruit. That's one trooper recruit. Let's train a few more. But first, you need to know about power cores. Your command center is self powered, but other buildings require an external source of power to operate at full efficiency. Without power, buildings operate at only 25% efficiency. Click on a worker, then the build button, then the build power core button. Then move your mouse over the map. As you look for a place to put the power core, you can see the radius of power that it will supply. Click on the ground where you want it to be built. Good, you have a source of power. By the way, is your troop center close enough to a power core? If you need to power your troop center, you should build another power core closer to it. Click on your troop center, then click on the trooper recruit button four times quickly. When one recruit shows up, the next will begin training right away. While you're waiting for the rest of your troopers, look at the population indicator to the right of your resource bar. It shows how many units you currently have and how many your housing will support. If it begins flashing, you've used up all your housing and you have to build more shelters. Chewbacca is young and impatient for battle. You're almost done training warriors. In the meantime, you could explore some more or create and assign more workers. There's always something to do. You've got a solid fighting force now. It's time to get rid of the Gundark threat. The Gundarks are on the other side of the river. Let us head north to find a crossing point.
That patchy section of the river is called a ford. Your soldiers can walk right over it. <laughs> Trade Federation Battle Droids. They're wiping out the gun dives. Destroy them. They're attacking. We must defend ourselves. Excellent work. The Trade Federation is a dangerous foe, and we certainly haven't seen the last of them. We have discovered our foes on this distant world. Our lessons are about to take a different path. <laughs> 